Hey Juicies, hey Crusties and Dusties and Musties. <laughs> I know y'all see this lace. Wait, actually y'all don't see this lace because that's pure scalp, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, get into this full lace wig that has been customized and installed by me. I actually just did a laying baby hairs tutorial on this video, so just stay tuned and watch that. And if you are interested in seeing how I laid this wig down and melted that lace into my skin, let me know down below in the comment section. So right now I'm just laying the lace down. I just glued it, so I need to apply some heat to it so it can really get you know what's the word so it can really dry and melt into my skin because that's the goal you want it to look like scalp you don't want it to be looking like window screen so I'm gonna take that scarf off y'all see that do you guys see that like my scalp is just so nice <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going in and placing the glue where it needs to be because obviously some places didn't get melted down. So I'm using a rat tail comb to really press it in. Press that glue in. So now I'm about to take a hot comb and just press these little sections out. And you can find a hot comb on either Amazon, Sally's, anywhere I got mine actually my mom bought this from Sally's about six years ago it's actually hers but I started using it I never gave it back <laughs> dang I burned myself y'all gotta make sure you're careful with the hot combs because they get really hot and if it's too too close to your scalp or your braids under the wig it will really like send some heat through there that you do not want to feel <laughs> So I'm just creating my middle part. Y'all know I love middle parts. So I'm just pressing that out so I can have a really flat middle part. Ooh, burned myself again. <laughs> so now I'm about to create the little baby hairs. Baby hairs, baby hairs, baby hairs. It's my favorite part my most favorite part I just love how this looks scalpish like Sam so I'm just cutting these short the shorter they are the more natural they'll be So I'm just using some styling mousse and I actually use styling mousse and a, a little bit of gel, like got to be glue gel to do my baby hairs. <laughs> I was obviously feeling how they were looking. That's why I started doing that little dance with my head. Y'all ever do that head, head tilt to see if you're feeling your baby hairs or how your hair is looking? Because I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, I had to brush that out a little bit because it was looking too stuck together. And with curly hair, I tend to like more baby hairs than I do with body wave or straight hair. Just because it looks, it just looks better to me, to be honest. So, that's what I do. So now I'm just wrapping my hair again. I want to make sure them baby hairs stay in place. And while I'm letting my baby hairs really dry up under that headscarf, I'm wetting my hair. And I'm going to brush it out detangling and all that I don't know why I do my mouth like that when I'm focused but 
my mouth just be doing what it do. So I'm back, bitches. Hello. <laughs> Y'all see how them baby hairs is just laid? I came back looking like a brand new bitch. I did my makeup. Got cute. Feeling myself clearly. The hair dried, so now it's all poofy a little bit. And it's just super cute and fun. So stay tuned for the next video. I actually turned this exact unit into a full locks unit. And I did a styling video on that. So y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And I'll see y'all for the next one. Peace.